Thank you for choosing Bytorque Valve Automation's BT Series Fire Safe Fusible Link Valve Assembly. This assembly is designed for critical shutoff protection in piping systems conveying flammable gases or liquids, solvents, toxic fluids, or any other potentially dangerous media. We use a state of the art design that allows for manual operation of the valve with a declutchable manual override. The BT Series consists of five main components the top plate arming device, fusible links, spring pack, declutchable manual override, and API 607 fire safe valve. A complete breakdown of parts is available on our website. Use caution when handling the BT series fusible link assembly since it has been shipped in the armed position with the spring pack under tension. Installing the link where high temperature fluctuations are possible, such as in direct sunlight, is not recommended. Consistent exposure to high ambient temperatures can cause the fusible links to break prematurely. Never disassemble the spring pack or remove the casing on the clock spring for any reason. The clock spring is always under pressure and disassembly of the spring case could result in serious injury. Never operate the declutchable manual override with the fusible links installed. Doing so will damage the unit and render the links inoperable. In order to both arm and manually operate the valve, you will need to get an understanding of how our declutchable manual override works. It's important to note that the fusible links must always be removed before operating the declutchable manual override. We'll go over the steps needed to install and remove the links later in this video. Do not attempt to operate the declutchable manual override until you have watched this entire video. Use one hand to grab the override engagement handle, squeezing both the bottom and top handles together. With the handle still squeezed together, move the handle from its disengaged position up toward the spring pack mounting flange until the lock tabs are in line with their locking positions. In some cases, the override gear teeth will not mesh correctly. If this occurs, rotate the hand wheel slightly to mesh the gears, then try moving the handle up again. Once the handle is in the locked position, the override is ready for use. Clockwise rotation of the hand wheel will move the valve toward the closed position. Counterclockwise rotation moves the valve toward the open position. Now that we've reviewed basic declutch operation, let's take a look at how they work with our fusible link assemblies. BT series assemblies with ball valves are shipped in the armed or open position with the declutchable manual override in the engaged position. These units will be armed after following these easy steps. Please note that you need to always install the valve in the pipeline and secure the valve flanges before proceeding. With the declutch engaged, slowly turn the declutch hand wheel counterclockwise until the spring tension is held by the links. Do not overturn the hand wheel, which could cause damage to the links. Once the tension is held by the fusible links, disengage the declutch gear. The hand wheel should now spin freely. Once the declutchable manual override is disengaged, the unit is now armed. Please note that if the gear is left in the engaged position, the valve will not spring close when the fusible links break. Failure to properly disengage the unit voids any warranties on the product. Once the links are in place and the declutch is disengaged, you cannot manually operate the valve again until the links are removed. If you need to operate the valve, engage the declutch gear and turn the hand wheel counterclockwise until the tension on the links is removed. Then, if necessary, use a 9 16th open-ended wrench to remove the rod and connector nuts or remove by hand. Once these nuts are removed, Take the fusible link rod connectors out of the holes on the arming device and then swing the locking trigger outwards. Turn the hand wheel clockwise to move the valve toward the closed position. Upon completion of operating the valve manually, return the valve to the open position by turning the hand wheel counterclockwise. It's important to note that the unit is not properly armed until the links have been reinstalled and the declutch disengaged. Failure to properly reinstall the links or disengage the gear will void any warranties on the product.
In order to rearm the unit after manual operation, swing the locking trigger plate back into place and put the rod end connectors back through the proper holes. Secure the rod end connectors by putting the nuts back onto the rod ends. Make sure the links are as straight as possible. Then turn the handwheel clockwise until the spring tension is held by the links. Once the tension is held, disengage the declutchable manual override to ensure that the unit is properly armed. The hand wheel should now spin freely. Our fusible link manufacturer recommends annual replacement of the links as part of a regular maintenance schedule. Contact your local distributor or buy torque valve automation for replacement parts. Refer to both the model number and the serial number when ordering replacement parts.